In this video, I'll show you how to use Remote Play on your iPad. First, we need to change a few different settings on the PS5 itself, and then we'll jump right in on your iPad. So let's get started. Okay, so the first step is to go into the settings of your PS5. So over here, we're gonna go on the top right corner, settings, then go down and select system. Go down until you see remote play on the left side, click your X button and over here you see the first option should be enable remote play. Click on it and make sure that it's turned on over the account you will use it with. So in my case, I'll use this one over here. So I'll turn it on. You can turn on on all the accounts if you plan using them on remote play. Then go back, go back. And under remote play, there's an option called power savings. Click on this one, then select features available in reset in rest mode, sorry. And make sure that over here, stay connected to the internet and the other one, enable turning on PS5 from network are both turned on. Because if you're planning to use remote play and you're not at home, you want the PS5 to be connected to the internet, even if it's in rest mode, so that you can play while not being at home. So if, it, if you don't turn these on, unfortunately, the PS5 will never know that you want to use uh, remote play, so it will never turn on and broadcast the game. Once you do this, go back. Then we still need to change one thing. So go back, go back, go and select users and accounts. Go down, select other. And the first option should be console sharing and offline play. Select this one. And we need to enable this feature because your account should be the primary account if you want to use remote play. So in my case, it's already enabled. If, it, if yours is not uh, already enabled, you're gonna see an option over here to click enable. Great, so at this point, uh, there is no other setting to change. The PS5 is ready to remote play. Before going away from your PS5, what you need to do is to put it in rest mode. Do not turn it off. If you turn it off, it will not be able to wake up when you use remote play on your device. So. How do you do this? Well, you probably already know, but I'll press the PS button here and down below you're gonna get the option. Go to the last one on the right side, press power and over here you need to select enter rest mode every time. Do not select turn off. So I select rest mode, it will take a few seconds. All right, so over here I have my iPad. First step is to connect the PS5 controller to the iPad. So to do this, you need to go into the settings of the iPad. Then on the left side, select Bluetooth. You're gonna have a list of every Bluetooth devices connected. Make sure it's turned on. Go down and the PS5 controller will appear here. But we need to put it in pairing mode. So how do you do this? Well, very easy. You're gonna keep press the PS button and the share button both at the same time until the light over here turns blue and it blinks. So I'm keeping both of these pressed. Okay, it's blinking blue. I can release these buttons. The controller is in pairing mode and here we go. It appeared quite quickly over here. Simply click on it and it has been added to my connected devices. Perfect. Now next step is to open the app store We're going to press the magnifying glass and search for remote play. Here we go is the first option. This is the app. Click on it. It's remote play made by PlayStation Mobile. Press open. You need to sign in into your PSN PlayStation Network account. So click here. Type your email address associated with your account. Then type the password, press sign in, press confirm and continue. 
It will tell you how to pair your controller with your iPad, but we already did this, so I'll press OK. Press Allow. Select PS5. Press OK. At this point, you just have to wait. The PS5 has been awaked. Obviously, if you're not at home, you'll not know. And over here, by the way, the TV is open, but you don't have to keep your TV open if you want to use remote play on your iPad or other devices. It does not matter, so I'll just close it. But you, you can keep it uh, open at home, so if somebody is at home, it will just see you playing, that's all. Still have to wait a bit. And here we go. The home screen of my PS5 has appeared. Now, one thing that is important is that, let me just lower the volume, is if your PS5 is connected on a weak Wi-Fi network, well, it will not be fast and there will be some lag. So I recommend if you can connect your PS5 with an Ethernet cable to your Wi-Fi router, simply so the image is broadcast quickly and, you know, there's less lag. Anyway. Now that my control is connected, I have access to my PS5. Let's give it a try. Here we go. I can use it the same way as I'm um, using my PS5 with my TV. Now on the lower screen, you see you have a settings menu on the left side where you have a few different settings over here. Always show controller. You see, if you turn this on, you're gonna have the buttons of the control, but since we already paired ours, there's no point of doing this really, so that's why I like to keep it closed. And you have also a disconnect button for the controller. Now, an important thing is that once you finish playing and using a remote play, is don't forget to put your PS5 into rest mode and, to, and don't turn it off. So again, the same way we did on the TV, I'll press on the PS button, go all the way over here, power, and select enter rest mode. This way, uh, the PS5 will not turn off. All right, and here we go, you lost connection with your PS5 since it's in rest mode right now. Next time you want to use this remote play feature, open the app and simply press on this white button and it will connect directly without you having to log in and do other stuff. So thanks for watching. I hope this was useful. If so, please leave a like, subscribe. If you have any comments, leave them down below and I'll see you in the next video.